Zapata moustache, isn't it, eh? He's Mexican, wasn't he, eh? Funny, isn't it, really? You know, Zapata, he starts out as a peasant revolutionary and ends up as a kind of moustache. <laughs> Guevara, he was another one. South American revolutionary, ends up as a sort of booty. Garibaldi, Italian revolutionary, ends up as a kind of biscuit. Actually, it's quite interesting, you know, the number of biscuits that are actually named after revolutionaries. You've got your Garibaldi, of course, you've got your Bourbon, and then, of course, you've got your peak free and Trotsky assortment. <laughs> revolutionary biscuits of Italy rise up out of your box you have nothing to lose but your wafers yum 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 I never really wanted to be a train driver you know I mean they told me when I left school if I got two CSEs when I left school I'd be head of British Steel that's a load of nonsense isn't it eh I mean you look at the statistics right 83% of top British management have been to a public school in Oxbridge, right? 93% of the BBC have been to a public school in Oxbridge, right? 98% of the KGB have been to a public school in Oxbridge. <laughs> All you get from a public school, right? One, you get a top job, right? And two, you get an interest in perverse sexual practices. <laughs> and that's why British management's so inefficient. As soon as they get in the boardroom, they're all shutting each other's dicks in the door. <laughs> Go on, give her another slam, Sir Michael. <laughs> Come on, Sir Jeffrey, let's play the panzer commander in the milkmaid, eh? <laughs>